In case you're wondering, this is a bag of plastic trash, this is a bag of paper trash, and this is a bag of everything else trash. Yes, I separate my garbage. If there's one thing I learned from living in Japan for three years, it's that. You separate your garbage and you recycle that shit. Raya is around the corner. No, not really. Ramadan is about to end. Yeah, it's more like it. Ramadan is about to end, and you do know, you do realize that when Ramadan ends, the setan will be free and shit. You know, the hantu or the setan. I don't understand why people really, really like Raya. So all, all the bad things start coming out. Even the devil in you starts. You know, looking for something bad to do. I don't know. It's probably just me. So, uh, selamat menyambut hari-hari terakhir Ramadan in advance, I guess. And, uh, yeah. That song was actually about being a feminist. No, not really. It's about rape. As weird as it is. Hey, it has something to do with Ramadan, you know. Abstinence. Men who cannot control their, 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 what's the word? Lust? The urges. Yeah, their urges. Cannot control their urges and they blame the woman. Uh, in Malaysia, if you, in case you haven't noticed or you don't know, because you don't live in Malaysia, in Malaysia, when a woman gets, you know, got rape, she's the one to blame. She's always the one to blame. They're going to ask, Do you pakai baju apa? Even if she does wear skin be close, even if she doesn't wear anything, does that mean that you should be be raping her? No. Idiot men, no. I'm referring to the idiots who keep on blaming women. If you're a man and you don't blame women, then you're not one of them idiot men. So tolong jangan perasan. Okay, okay. So yeah, you blame the woman. I don't, I don't understand you. It's like blaming the food for looking delicious. Blaming the food for you getting fat, for you know, for their food looking delicious. Yeah, like me blaming the food when it's like it's, it's just me not having self control. Okay, so yeah, something to do with Ramadan. Still, Ramadan is. About self control and abstinence. You just retain effort from doing anything. At least not in front of people. You know, who knows what you do at home. But yeah, that's that. And stop being assholes, please. For the sake of our beloved God, if you don't believe in God, for, for well, for the concept of eternity, I guess. Don't do it. It's a, it's a simplistic advice, but please, don't do it. 
it's don't blame the woman. It's not our fault for wanting to feel sexy sometimes. Yeah. You don't understand one day. See, another thing about um, me not wanting to go out at night is because these men are uncontrollable. These idiot men. And by that, I mean the idiot rapists. Yeah, they, they have zero self-control, so if I go out, it'll be like, at night, go out at night, it's like, I'm begging, I'm asking for it, but, okay, no, no, I'm not asking for it. But yeah, men does not know how it feels like going out, being paranoid, if you're going out in paranoia. Because men does not have the notion of them getting raped. How is it that men get rape? As the rapist is, you know, are into gay people. No, the rapist is gay and are into men. Or just like, actually, the rapist is probably not gay. It's probably a monster who just wants to rape men. Have you ever thought of that? Have you, men, ever thought of yourself getting raped? Exactly. Which is why you're not scared of going out either in the morning or at night in this country okay us women have that fear all the time we see even some old guy walking past in the parking lot we're just like we if if we could we would fly to our car no we just fly back home we don't even bother flying to our car just fly back home and not see that pachi like kajar us like crazy no men please Think, how would you feel if someone were to rape your butthole? Huh? Imagine that. Because it's hard for you to imagine, which is why you don't feel that fear. Until you can imagine or grasp the idea of you getting raped, getting rammed in the butthole, then you'll understand why women feels when women feel the fear of going out in this country almost not any other country i guess but mostly malaysia lah because i'm living in this country and people who watch this, this is probably living in this country so yeah please just engrave that notion in your head and understand why women are afraid all the time even though you're nice even if you're nice even if you're nice men nice generally nice people like not like a uh, hypocrite kind of nice you really are nice we have that fear and what with this shooting for seven days going on seven days seven people murdered what is going on Malaysia it's weird. It's not weird, it's scary. For I I I read somewhere in Twitter, Twitter is always a reliable news source, that there's been 22, 22 murders, gun, gunfire cases, since April. And seven of them were in the past week. Yesterday! Oh, someone got shot. It is going on. It's not just in KL. It's all over the country. You have you have like Sungai Nibong, and then you have Bacho. You have you have everywhere. Pulau Pinang and Kedah. Everywhere. It's crazy. This country is not safe anymore. Wake up. It's not safe. And the suspects are always two men, and most of them two men. On a bicycle, not a bicycle, on a motorbike. Two men wearing a topic leather on a motorbike. It's scary. The man faces the, you know, gunshot thing, and woman who faces the rape thing. This country is not safe. And should you blame the men for, you know, begging to be shot? can't say anything about that because you don't know the backstory. But the woman, you're always wrong. 
just to wear skimpy clothes. Trust me, if you know what kind of people get raped in this country, you're not going to blame the skimpy clothed woman. Because yang alim alim pun kena juga. It's fact. If you're a woman, you're gonna get raped. That's a very forward thing to say, but yeah. We always live in that fear. Going out and just like, oh, what if you're not strong enough? What if you're not strong enough, huh? Good word. And on that note, selamat hari raya, maaf saya batin.